What about the healing of the man by the pool of Bethesda? Doesn't that prove that Jesus did not heal everybody that he came in contact with since there were many there? Okay. Now, this is in John chapter 5. You can read the account, and it's important to read what is there and don't read into it what is not there. Uh, now, the account is that there was a man that was by the pool. Jesus went up to him, and the man complained about, well, I you know, can't get to the pool because somebody else gets in there first. And uh, so Jesus just said, well, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Okay, he ignored that whole uh, complaint and uh, the man was healed. And then there's, the problem is, is that there are stories that come from this. Well, he tripped over all these sick people. Okay, and uh, just to find that one man and heal that one person, but he didn't heal any of the other people. Okay, that's not what the scriptures say. First of all, it does not say that Jesus did not heal all the people there. It just gives the account of him healing that one man. The second thing, which is another possibility, is that there was nobody there except for that man at the time. Now, if you read carefully, it talks about from time to time an angel comes and stirs up the waters and people uh, used to lie there waiting to be, you know, healed, but it doesn't say that everybody was there 100% of the time, all the time, as in they never went to the bathroom, they never went to sleep, they were never carried in and out, uh, whatever. So in a public place, you know, you have, uh, you go to any big city and, and you know, there's, there's times in which crowded public places are empty because it's the middle of the night or whatever, and uh, other times that they're very busy. So the scripture does not actually say that there was anybody else there. Uh, now, Jesus healed this one man, and we have that account, and that's all that we have to deal with. So again, do not read into the scriptures what is not there.